Hi everybody, these are notes for Math Excel 12.3. We're going to find the volume of a pyramid. Um, and on our formula sheet, the volume of a pyramid is equal to one third times the area of the base times the height. Remember, big B means area of the base. So volume is equal to one third times big B times H, where big B is the area of the base. All right, so I have a few examples here. This is similar to number one on the math Excel. Find the volume of a square pyramid. The height is 14 and the base edges are five. So there isn't a picture here, but we want to picture a square pyramid. So this picture below is actually of the last, uh, is the next problem, but we can use it to help us picture what we got here. We have a square pyramid and they are telling us, that should have been a dotted line back here, sorry. They're telling us the height of the pyramid is 14. So from here to here, remember heights are measured perpendicularly. This is 14 meters. And base edges means the edge of the square. So these are all the same length and they are five meters each. All right, so to follow our formula, it's volume of this pyramid is one-third times big B, which remember is the area of the base. Now the base in this one that we have here is a square. So I need the area of that shape right there. Well the area of a square you want to do to the side. The area of a square is just length times width, base times height, or side squared, however you want to say it. The length and width of this square is a 5 and a 5, because these are the same length. So this would be 5 times 5, which gives us 25. So N for big B in our formula is going to go area of the base, which is 25, and then times the height of the pyramid, and we already said the height was 14. All right, and then we just multiply them together and we need to make sure we round appropriately. So one-third times 25 times 14. So I get 116.6 repeating, 0.6 repeating, which is two-thirds. So they say round to the nearest tenth. That means one digit behind the decimal. So if I get 116.66, then I look here, that makes this go up to a 7. So it's going to be 116.7 meters cubed. All right, so the rest of these are going to follow along just like that one. So this is similar to number 4 on Math Excel. Um, we have a square pyramid again. So here's our dimensions. If this is 7 here, then I know that's 7 because they just told us it's a square pyramid, so the base is a square. So volume equals 1 third times area of the base times the height. And in for area of the base, this B, that's where you got to be careful here, that's the area of the bottom part. So the area of that square is 7 times 7, which gives you 49. So that's the number that's going in for big B. So volume equals one-third times 49 times the height of the pyramid, which is seven. Right there, we see a height. All right, it's round to the nearest tenth again. So let's type it in here. One-third times 49 times seven. I get 114.3 repeating. 114.3 repeating. So nearest tenth means I look at that digit. It's going to stay because it's not five or more. So it's going to be 114.3 cubic centimeters. All right, one more. And this one is not as straightforward. So we got to do a little bit of work here. But this is a great problem. I like it. What is the volume of the square pyramid? So again, I have a 21 and a 21. The problem here is 
when you look at this formula, one-third times big B times H, this is the height of the pyramid. And the height of the pyramid goes from the top of the pyramid down to the bottom. So if you look back at the picture up here, it was the dotted line in the center that went like that. And which is the same as the line I drew up here, but I need from the top down to the base. Well, if you look here, this one goes from the top slanted to the side. So that's actually the height of the triangle, not the height of the pyramid. So we're going to extend this and make a right triangle kind of in the middle of your pyramid. Okay, so this is kind of neat. So now I have this triangle here that looks like this. I'm going to draw it to the side so you can see it better. So that's the right triangle right there. I know the piece out here is 24 because that's the one they tell you. And this part, the base of that triangle, you got to look over here. The base of the triangle is actually half of the 21 because it went from the center of that side out. So you're going to do 21 divided by 2 and get 10.5 for that. And then the part that I need that's going to help us in our volume is this part. So I'm going to call that X or call it H, whatever you want, but that's the height of the pyramid. That's the part I need. So this is a little Pythagorean theorem over to the side. X squared plus 10.5 squared equals 24 squared. So X squared plus 10.5 squared is 1 10.25 and 24 squared is 576 and then I would minus 110.25 so x squared is equal to 576 minus 110.25 so that gives us 465.75 and then I would take the square root of each of those pieces so the square root of that would give us 21.581. Okay, now come back over to your formula here. So volume is equal to one-third times area of the base is just like we were doing up above. I need the area of the square. So I'm going to do 21 times 21 to get the area of the square, which is the area of the base, and that gives me 441. So it's going to be 441 times the height that I just found, and the height was 21.581. Okay, sorry for all the decimals. So I got one third times 441 times 21.581. And that gives me 3172.407. All right, it says round to the nearest tenth. Again, one digit. So it's going to be 3172.4 millimeters cubed. And if that one gives you a problem, just email me if it's a rounding issue, if you're off by a hair here. So, all right, let me know if you have questions. Miss y'all.